You might have heard that in the United States, if you can't afford a lawyer, one will be provided to you. Well, not always. Every day, children as young as three are forced to defend themselves in immigration court. Katie Anand has seen this problem firsthand through her work for a nonprofit called Kids in Need of Defense. It feels like you're in a pediatrician's office. There are kids sitting on benches, small kids with toys. Many of them don't have attorneys. In the last three years, over 160,000 children came to the United States without a parent or guardian, searching for a safe haven. Most were fleeing violence in the Northern Triangle of Guatemala, Honduras, and El Salvador. This is known as one of the most violent regions in the world. But more than half of these kids don't have attorneys to represent them in their deportation proceeding. The Fifth Amendment of the U.S. Constitution states no person shall be deprived of life, liberty, or property without due process of law, meaning everyone, not just U.S. citizens, have the right to a fair trial. So why aren't these children given a lawyer? According to Anand, it's due to a lack of law. In immigration court, people face charges from the government. While the Constitution applies to everyone located in the U.S., the government is not actually required to appoint a lawyer in immigration cases. That's because they are tried in civil court, not criminal. So suspected killers, kidnappers, and others facing federal felony charges are appointed a lawyer. But a child accused of violating immigration laws, a civil offense, is on their own. Having representation is a big deal. Studies show that up to 80% of children without a lawyer are deported. The consequences are very high. There are certainly examples of children being returned to areas of violence and being murdered. Senator Harry Reid introduced a bill to fix this gap, but the bill never passed. The American Civil Liberties Union filed a class action lawsuit against the federal government on behalf of a group of juvenile plaintiffs in deportation proceedings. But immigration judge Jack Weil, in a sworn deposition, said that three and four-year-olds can learn immigration law well enough to represent themselves in court. Until this is changed, toddlers will have to keep brushing up on their immigration law.